Continue on free code camps, learn typography by building a nutrition label. And we're on step 40 now. Um, and as you can see here, we just passed the last challenge, which had the um, sort of daily value with the divider below it. So let's see now. Um, step 41, give the divider selector a clear property set to right. So clear and right. And this will clear the float property, pushing the divider and any following content below the float text. So there we go, that looks a lot better now. Um, and in the previous video, I was kind of questioning um, why it looked like that. But yeah, as I said, I haven't actually worked with um, floats before, um, but yeah, I actually have heard of a clear fix or, or clearing um, the float, so that makes sense. So cool, that looks a lot better. So step 42, after your last divider element, create a P element uh, like that and give it the text. Uh, so total fat eight grams and ten percent, and then we want to wrap total flat fat in a span element, like so. Uh, slash span, and set the um, class name on the span to bold. Wrap the ten percent in another span, like so. And there we go. And that will be given a class, oops, class of um, bold and right. So that's gonna bold the 10% and as you can see here, floats it to the right. Perfect. So step 43, blow your element with the total fat text to create a new P element. And actually I'm going to, in this case, just copy and paste what we have above and just change the saturated fat. Um, so that's saturated fat, that's one gram and 5%, like so. There we go. And the new P element needs to be indented. So give it a class um, like so, indent. And now I assume we'll be creating that class. So dot indent. And we want to give it a margin dash left of one M and that will push it left just slightly. So there we go. You can see it's now being pushed off um, or given some margin to the left and as a result, push the content over. So create a dot daily dash value and then P selector. So that targets all of the P elements within the daily value. And we want to give them a border dash bottom of one PX solid. And I'm just going to grab that hex color code and paste that in. And there we go. It's sort of a light gray. So step 47, the bottom borders under your percent sort of daily value and saturated fat elements do not extend the full width of the label. Um, so add a no divider class to for these two elements. So saturated fat, uh, there we go. And the other one was the daily value, like so. Perfect. So step 48, the not pseudo selector can be used to select all elements that do not match the given CSS rule. Um, so for example, this selects all div elements without an ID of example. So modify your daily value P to exclude the no divider elements. So we want to give the ones here, um, we'll do not, and it's the class no divider like so. And then as you can see, the border bottom um, is taken away from those ones. So step 49, now you have to add separate dividers below your no divider elements. Your first no divider element has a dot divider after it. Create another divider after the second no divider element. Um, bit of a tongue twister, but I believe it just means we need to put that down there. So yeah, there we go. And then finally, step 50, after your last divider, create another P element. So create a P element and this will have, okay. So 
I'm actually going to copy from above again. Um, this is now trans fat zero grams and italicize the word trans by wrapping it in an I element. Oops. I'll get the trans back. Trans. And we don't need, no, we do need fat, zero grams, um, but no last span here. So that's just the P with the I and give the new P element indent and no divider. So let's check for that. There we go. Perfect. Cool. So I hope that helps. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching.